Okay, andito tayo sa PICC para umaten ng International Rice Congress. Actually, hindi tayo nag-register doon sa mga talk. Ito yata. Available na po ang agribusiness merch sa Shopee. Ang link na sa description box. Ito na sila agri doon mo. Hey, sir! Kala po. O nga. May different ano. Nice booth, ta. As always. Ano, international talaga ang idol ko. Kamusta? Yeah, yeah. So, si Agri Dome andito sa International Rice Congress. Medyo sosyalin ang event. May free snacks tsaka, no, sir? Oh, talaga? Free? Kumain na ba kayo? Hindi pa. Para pa yun. Okay. Trabaho muna tayo. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, again, we are very thankful for Sir Buddy. And um, we, we gain a lot of, of, of um, inquiries, especially the, the drone technologies, uh -huh. capabilities. Mm -hmm. And what's surprising really is they, they, they really click and finish the video. Uh -huh. Because I asked them the details. Yes. Oh, That's okay. my audience actually. Yeah. So I asked them, so uh, what do you know about? Yeah, sir, nakita ko kasi nung ano, nandung kayo sa office nyo, sabi ko, Aba talagang tinapos, uh -oh. di ba? Uh -oh. So what's funny is that, okay, uh, Sir Buddy, thank you. Sabi, tapos kinukuray ko, hindi ako si... Si Sir Buddy rin to. Kaya sabi ko, <laughs> hindi ako si Sir Buddy Gansenya. <laughs> ibang, ibang body ako. So, yeah, uh, it, it really helps. It really helps in terms of promoting this mm -hmm. kind of technology. Yeah. As I said before, Um, this is really new pa in the Philippines, very baby. Yeah. But your blogs really, uh, uh, really a, a gateway of, of anybody can ask. No? And, mm -hmm. and also it cuts across different demographics. Yeah. Like there's a big land owners, there's small land owners. Uh, cooperatives, probably. Cooperatives and OFW, OFWs. surprisingly. Yes, yes, yes. Looking for business in the Philippines. Yeah. So, Yeah, um, most of them just wanted to, to to give them some time to go back to the Philippines and talk to us. Uh, yeah. So, time to time, like, we received the money, the inquiries. May ano naman, actual uh, buyers? Mostly services. Services? Yeah, as I told you, diba? they need uh -oh. to experience it first. Okay. Yeah, pag, pag sinabi naman, agri, sir, I saw in agribusiness, like, um, you, you also do servicing. Mm. You want to... to uh, hire your, your yeah. services oh yes because again as i said they need to experience it first yeah. and in problem yung walang technical person in their end immediately you know yeah kaya yung servicing oh and again they need to observe how the drone works yeah. uh, from seeding to pesticide spraying okay but again we cater like 10 hectares man yeah. di ba may mga kahit hindi naman masyadong malayo basta ang alam kong merong grupo na who wants to experience it We so, cater. So corn, corn rice, rice um, banana, banana, pineapple. Okay. Tapos vegetables like onions. Yeah, onions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, high value crops, and we are expanding now for mango. Mm, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, again, madaming you know, mango. Kasi dapat madaming liquid yon. Ito uh -huh. low volume, high concentrate. Yeah. So, madaming technology for the past how many months? Tayo? like so, a year ago. Yeah. So, maraming bago. Madami so it's na. work na gawa tayo ulit ng, ano, oh, ng, madami ng na, sir. update. Yeah, because right now, part of our, our portfolio is crop monitoring. Okay. When you say crop monitoring, hindi lang yung palipad ng drone. Mm. It includes uh, with, with uh, monitoring, mm -hmm. stand count. We know now ilan yung uh, nasa field mo mm -hmm. at ano yung potential mo na ma-harvest. Mm -hmm. Tapos, lodging count. 
water management, makikita na. O oh, again, papalipad maliit ng drone, pero iba na, madami ng software. Monitoring, yes. no? Mm. Hindi lang, hindi lang yung actual pag-spray, pag-seeding. Yes, because of that, you will now have a scientific data yeah. in terms of decision making. Yeah. What, what, what pesticide to buy, mm -mm. when, mm -mm. hindi na yung, basta bili ako ngayon, kailangan akong maglagay. So, mm -mm. dun, dun napapamahal yung cost eh. Mm. Ayun, medyo talagang ano na, may may data driven decisions ka na nagagawin. Mm. Mm. So, yun yung mga so ang farmers ngayon ay uh, wala na tayo sa stage na ano ba yan? Wala na. It's more on madami pa rin sa rice. Madami pa rin. Sa rice. Okay. Uh, sa rice, madami pa rin. Um, but again, as I said last ano interview natin, we have a lot of work to do in terms of uh, really introducing mm. to the mainstream farmers. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, thankfully the, the 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 DA and its sub agencies are really mm. doing something about it. Okay, with the partnership of Phil Rice, Eri, they're really, you know, um, expanding this technology to the the mass market to the mass farmers. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so hopefully they will continue and in the next five six years, dapat ano na siya, talagang, mm -hmm main equipment na siya oh. for farming. So hindi na mapipigilan. Eto na, na talaga. Eto na. Eto na. <laughs> Eto na. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, kumusta farm mo? Um, andun lang siya. Part ko naman mag-interview eh, no? <laughs> Kala niya, di ko siya interviewin eh, no? So, kumusta farm mo? So, di ba? <laughs> Gawa tayo follow up. Any other crops? Yeah. Gusto, may in intensive na rice. Parang ano siya, yung instructional. Meron. Pwedeng gawin. Oo. Gawa tayo, gawa tayo script. Uh, this is what you do. Meron talaga. And that's, that, that's ang, what ang gawin we natin, do. cultural management ng rice. Yes. Pero yung procedure na, ito nang ginagamit. Yes. Meron talaga. Meron na yung tipong, sa umpisa pa lang, yung pag-preparation ng seeds. Uh, uh, ilang, ilang days. Uh -oh. Tapos anong, ano, yung, ano yung form ng seeds na maganda na gagamitin for direct seeding. Mm -hmm. Talaga visuals. Yeah, yeah. Pwede natin gawin. Sinong pwede natin makapartner? Phil uh, Rice. Phil Rice. Yeah, Phil Rice. We can, we can ask natin? Yeah, yeah. We can schedule. Sige. Alam ko, busy ka. Hindi. PMA. Gawang, gawang kita ng hindi. <laughs> I-ano mo, tapos isis isisingit ko. Yeah. Kasi mas mahirap i-ano si Phil Rice, yung schedule niya. Yeah, I have to ask them also. To pa, kasi ano yun eh, medyo kailangan ng formal formalities. And ah, oh. this is what Otherwise, the farmer. Yeah. Big farmer. Yeah. Um, okay, kasi... Ano Pero maganda rin pag feel rice. Oh, eh. kasi masyadong scientific, tapos masyadong correct, makikita correct. yung ano. Tapos pwede ka mag-follow up videos ng development, uh -oh. they can send it to you. Uh -oh. Pwedeng ganun rin. Pwedeng ano eh, let's say, land prep to seeding. Yeah. Yan lang muna tayo. Tapos yes. after a month, yung, yung side dress, top dress, ganyan. Pwede. Tapos... Pwede. Yung last na video, harvest. Oh, kasi cropping ngayon. First cropping mm -hmm. of 2024. Oh. Simula November, December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kasi every time nag-demo kami, ang daming tanong. Uh -oh. Oh, bakit? Kaya pwede na ba 15 kilograms? Pwede na ba 10? Mm -hmm. Kinocompute pa namin. Alam niyo po ba na per kilogram, 40,000 seeds yan. Ganun mm -hmm. So, yeah. It will help. It will really help a lot. Of, of Again, and having then, an impact to the lives of our farmers. Yeah. And how to directly seed. Mm -hmm. Para, kung man ang tanong, uh, agribusiness, click mo lang, nandun lahat. <laughs> Mag-start na onion. Yeah, um, yes, yeah, tumula na November. Tatarim na. Oh, oh, sa, ano, sa Bayambang, Bayambang. masisang una sila eh. Mm -hmm. Tapos next naman yan si, ano, Nueva Ecija sa Bungaban. Mm -hmm. Bungaban. Yeah, Mundo na yung puro instructional. What? Pero gamit mo high-tech. Exactly. Ganda. Mapipin sa YouTube yan eh, Sid. <laughs> coffee. May dami sila. Gusto mo mong coffee? Or si I mean... Yung... <laughs> Co <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> coffee, meron. Pag gusto mong mag-coffee, sa mountains ng ano ka, Dabaw del Sur, Bakay, mm. Kapatagan, mga ganun. Kapatagan. Hi, ano kasi, coffee kasi highland eh. Highland, oo. Oh. May variety lang na ng coffee na hindi highland. But yung mga Arabica, mm -hmm. highland yun. Above 1,000 meters above si Lerio yun. So, doon ka pupunta doon. Tsaka ano, ano ko, coffee talaga, 
mga farmers, yun yung mga ano, native, mga ano, katutubo natin. Uh-huh. Yun. Yun, may bigyan ng livelihood. Tribal yan. So hindi nyo pa natatap yan ng market? Hindi pa. Sa rice pa, hindi pa namin natap. Eh. Ang laki pong tabaho laki dito pa, sa no? rice. Oh. Rice and corn. Rice, is... rice and corn pa lang eh. No? Kahit isang probinsya lang. Like for example, Pangasinan, it's 180,000 uh-huh. um, planted. Paano may survey? Yan pa lang, wag mo nang pangarapin lahat. Oo. Wag mo nang, doon lang. Nueva Ecija, Pangasinan. Yung tatlo na yan, Nueva Ecija, Pangasinan, Isabela. Ay. Tapos na, no? You, you, you basically mechanize, or, or for the drone itself, you're, you're basically like um, addressing like more than 60%. Na. Yung tatlo na yan. Oh. Rest kasi, ano kasi yan eh. Um, Nueva Ecija, Pangasinan, Iloilo, Isabela. Magkaka, ano lang, depende lang sa harvest yun. Basta pumapasok sa Iloilo eh. Mm. Diyan sa top four na yan. Tapos yun, Mindoro. Papasok ulit. Mindoro. So yung tatlo pa lang ng buong region na yan. Tapos na. Hmm. Ay, hello sir. Sa Singenta po. Ay, hello. Ito aming rice board. Dennis from Dennis. Singenta, Philippines. Dennis Michano. Uh, uh, ito po yung boot natin, yung rice board. So it's right. um, group ng iba't ibang uh, member organization. Mostly seed, may seed companies, may fertilizer, may drone provider. Oh. Tapos part in DA. Uh, uh, so it's an advocacy group eh. Okay. So, so nag-evolve siya from uh, member organization ng mga private companies. Uh, it evolves into a non-profit organization oh, that see. goes hand-in-hand hand with the government. Oh, nice. For improvement ng or rice productivity, enhancement ng competitiveness, saka uh-huh. ng, ng growth na industry. Nice. Uh, may mga member organization sila, ano? <laughs> mga companies pala talaga. Hello. Hello. Yan. May, ta- may kasama tayo from ah, SL. Yeah. Yes, yes pa. Yes pa, yes pa. Maganda pa yung ginawa natin. Madaming, ma- maraming na, maraming naging choir. Matas kasi yung engagement niya, yung views eh. So, we started in 2013. No? Okay. So, um, yan. May mga member companies po tayo dito. Medyo marami po, ano? Mm. So, ito po yung mga member companies natin. Both local, international companies. Okay. Uh, even the uh, DA Peel Rice part ng membership natin. Pagadi from, 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 from Long Team, Hi, from sir. RJ. Hello, so, hello it's uh, all different companies together. Oh, nice. So, yun po yung ano natin. Hello, sir. Hello, buddy. buddy pa. Buddy Richard. Is our person. Yeah. Uh, lagyan ko lang, sir. Siguro ano lang, sir. Um, kasi nandito tayo sa event. Uh, ano ang uh, ginagawa ng um, rice board? Uh, ginagawa ng rice board? Yes. Okay. Basically. So, yung rice board kasi naniwala that um, the, the thing that farmers na talagang mag-adapt siya ng technology mm. is kailangan natin ipakita sa kanya. That's okay. visible yun. Sabi nila sa ano pa, Ilocano, Jack Pate, Jack Kita. Jack Kita. To see is to, to believe. believe. So the basic principle, ang ginagawa ng rice board, okay, um, lahat ng mga companies naman, mm. meron kami kanya-kanya eh. Mm-hmm. Kanya-kanya may, may demonstration, mga mm-hmm. Sabi namin, bakit hindi tayo magsama-sama? Mm-hmm. No, we are, uh, of course, we are competitor. But yes. we are really competitor and we have only common customer natin. Di ba? Tutulungan natin yung mga farmers para sa technology. Okay. So, came up with this idea, way back 2013. Let's organize ourselves. Okay. And then let's also engage yung Department of Agriculture. Okay. And then the Pill Rice and Airy mm-hmm. para uh, magtulong-tulungan tayo sama-sama to what we call, not a Congress, kasi Congress ito, ganito Congress. Mm-hmm. What we call a, a, a forum, a techno forum, a venue wherein farmers can appreciate nung mga technology natin. No? Mm-hmm. Because technology, technology itself, nag-ano yan, nag every year, mayroon, mm-hmm. bago, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, one way to really showcase and transfer technology is really the farmers to be there to see the technology mm-hmm. and kailangan nilang minsan mahawakan nila, makita nila and this is the, the avenue for the rice board really to transfer this technology so nag uh, ano kami ng program with the Department of Agriculture sa National Rice Program so pinakunlakan naman kami na every year, ngayon every year twice mm-hmm. So, kadalawang season tayo. So, twice nagkaroon tayo ng what we call the platform for rice board is the really National Rice Techno Forum. Wow. So, that is a three days... Saan nangyayari yan? 
sir. Ito, nangyayari yan doon sa buong naghahanap kami ng mga areas na okay. akma for that season. Okay. And if you could see that you have already 50, no? yung mga may bilong na orange na yan, yun na yung mga oh. tigno na nagawa natin. Di ba? Um, we showcase in a 100 hectares na demonstration. No? 100 the hectares? 100 hectares. You know, it's a in cluster. one location? In one location. Wow. Compact. With all these companies and the uh, collaboration with the Department of Agriculture, mm -hmm. ITOC, ito, lahat, ano na, mm -hmm. uh, LGU, mm -hmm. um, cooperative farmer, ano na talaga sama-sama na. Okay. So when we will go there, if you can see that one, we have this past 100 hectares of, of farm of rice. Mm -hmm. And there you can see all the technology. So ngayon, yung mga farmers na pupunta doon will really have the appreciation kung ano yung magandang technology na dalhin niya doon sa farm niya. Anong Pipili siya. Pipili siya. Among the... The Among whole group the, nyo? No. Okay. Ma, noon, pipili lang siya ng hybrid. Ngayon, okay. Pipili na siya kung anong pamamaraan gusto niya. Ah. Oh, either sasabog siya, tatransplant siya, gagamit mm. siya ng drone, mm. gagamit siya ng walk behind planter. Mm. So, mayroon na siyang mga options na akma doon sa kanyang farm. Mm -hmm. Madala niya. Mm -hmm. Now, with that, we have also the technical people down there. Okay. Na mag explain and the farmer itself na talagang cooperator natin will be the one to explain also kung ano yung nangyayari doon sa farm niya. Mm. And then at the same time, all the technician and follow up and so on and so forth. Mm. Really to expand yung paggamit ng technology. So okay. basically, that's the essence of rice board. Kaya naman, yung hybrid natin, mm. uh, mere almost 300,000 hectares. Ngayon, nasa 1.5 million na tayo. What we are also doing is, normally, pag nagsabi ka ng congress or conference, culmination lang. Okay. Atake mo yung mga farmers, which is 1,000, 3,000. So, ang ginagawa mm. namin, planting pa lang, mm. nagano na kami mga kasama natin mga farmers to demonstrate the land preparation itself. That's why, the partner like Kubota, mm. the partner na other machineries, nandoon sila. Mm -hmm. Ganito tawag kami ng farmer. O, ganito yung tamang pag-land prep. Mm -hmm. Okay. During the growing season, may mga series of farmers, uh, ano yan, field school or farmers walk namin na to appreciate yung ano, Mm -hmm. Kasi ayaw natin ipakita lang sa parang nung mga harvest na. Mm -hmm. Sabihin, o oh, ito na harvest. So, siyempre magtanong yung parang, paano niyo yun ano ito? Uh -huh. So, mas maganda, kung nag-growing season, nandun sila. Nandun sila. Okay, sir. Ilang farmers na ang na-witness, na na na-reach ninyo? Dito sa ano namin, datos-datos uh, namin, nasa mga 25,000 farmers na. How many percent of that doon sa rice farmer population? Oh, I'm late pa lang kasi yung kung 1 million ka, di 25,000 is still very small. Okay. Those are the, what we call, the attendance yet. Okay. But we believe, kasi inikayat namin yung mga farmers, when they go home, mm. kasi mga tea farmers to, mm. when they go home, they have also to share. Okay. Yun yung request namin sa mga farmers mm. because there are the farmers na hindi talaga makapunta mm. because of whatever reason mm. kasi siyempre budgetan din yan ng government di ba? Mm. Na, kasi kung malayo-layo you will pang, pang, pang tulog mga ganun mm -hmm. so we we really ano, we really encourage them na uh, to share with other farmers now the other thing na talagang sabi mo that's a good question mm. which we have not accounted okay. itong inartip natin mm. nanganganak ng regional inartip okay. which is a local initiative na nung regional office nung agriculture. So sila sila mismo gumuha na rin ng mga farmers which we also supported. Naglagay kami technician, lagay kami nitong mga parang small mini inartip na rin ang mm. labas so, mm. suporta namin sila. So mm. kung rich sa farmer baka dami na. Then aside from that, from the region, pero nang nagkaroon ulit ng nanganak ulit ng provincial. Okay provincial technology forum so mm. by the province itself mm -hmm. so ibig sabihin di namin in account yun so in effect yung mga rich natin na farmers dumadami na dumadami and the reason be because kita mo naman yung speed ng paggamit okay. ng hybrid of kasi kung kami lang okay. ano lang yung 25,000 farmers maybe 25,000 hectares lang di ba? okay so yun yung nakita na nyo yung pag increase ng paggamit ng hybrid yes but what about the other technologies nag improve nag May adaptation ba? Nag-adapt ba yung mga yes. farmers? So, like for example, uh, yung ano, yung um, kasi dati-dati is uh, yung mga mechanization ko. Yes, apa, apa. So, apa. Nag-increase din yung mechanization yun. Okay. That's, the, that's the reason also na yung filmic natin, mm. talagang madami rin nabibigyan ng ano. So, mm. aside from the genetic gains, you have this machinery. Yeah. And of course, we have also our nutrients. No? May mga nutrients okay. ano tayo, like Yara, Atlas, okay. uh, Inabit. So, marami kayong members na yan. Mm. So, what they are also doing is really making sure, kasi seeds is only one. Planting is only one. Yeah. Nutrients is very important. Yes. So, they are here also 
they are showcasing um, like a site specific nutrient management mm -hmm. kasi hindi yung basa sige lang sampung bag mm -hmm. ano. so they are with us mm -hmm. really on uh, together with department of agriculture so that's the program mm -hmm. they are with us really to look at the farmers and teach the farmers na oh itong lupa mo hindi kailangan ng sampo Mm. Kailangan lang ito walo. Itong mm. lupa mo ay kailangan ng organic mga ganun. So, mm -hmm. ganun. so having said that, kakaumpisa lang namin in a year or two, but we hope that with that little steps that we have, the mm -hmm. baby steps that we have, it will mm -hmm. go further. No? Mm -hmm. ganun, no? Because it's it's really, really a work of, I would say, labor of love. Yes, ganun, yes, kasi yes, you have to reach yes. more farmers. So, hindi lang siya hit and run. Yes. We need more, ano, and then we give them the, ano, and then they can call us, mm -hmm. this company, that um, mm -hmm. is, is there something that you have to to, to, to learn more. So, mm -hmm. ganun, no? Yeah. Last na lang, sir, um, uh, na-mention mo na, okay, in terms of yung data, mas, masyado pang maliit, no? Mm. Pero, kumusta, may impact na ba to doon sa ordinary Filipino farmers? That's a good question, no? Uh, may impact na to. Just imagine if you plant hybrid, mm -hmm. it's about 20 to 30 percent of your in, of your production. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now there could be a debate na di wala naman kami masyadong kita because there's also pricing all these things. So, mm -hmm. but the main thing is that we give the farmers the the tool mm -hmm. to, to increase their production. Mm -hmm. So, kung lang increase ilang production, that's a function of what we are doing, and I I believe. Because of the increase of the hybridization, farmers are are uh, having a good good income versus mm -hmm. the traditional inbred. Mm -hmm. Yun yung mm -hmm. ano lang doon. And we have all the the datos, the data na ito na ngayon yung hybrid 30%, ito yung uh, no mo ROI mo, which is also 30% or more mm -hmm. ROI mo and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, with the scaling price of all the inputs and so on. So I would say that impact-wise, it really shows, is including our production um, for the whole um, whole year because of the hybrid okay. and it's really shows because the average of the hybrid average ah, on the whole national the hybrid is like six six point five tons inbred is only three four mm. that's the statistic from the philippine uh, statistic so we may not have that kind of big accolades but these guys are working really yeah. hard no? on, on really taxing our farmers and we hope that you can help us no, yes, if there is something that you meet some farmers and so on, tell them that we have rice board, we can reach rice board, we can reach up other members, and we are willing really to help. And we are willing to, lalo na yung mga new technology ngayon mm -hmm. ngayon ito. So, ano mo, mga reluctant, alam mo naman yung technology mo, versus, oh, yes. ano yan, mga ganon, kasi gusto lang nila, mga ganon na ganon. So we have, really, it's not like, Eh, and, and over the silver platter, you have to mm -hmm. teach them, you have to learn really, the really new technology. Parang okay. na, but pag, 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 pag uh, nasanay na, ay, ayaw na rin nilang pumunta sa ano. That's why, this is one way also, kasi pag sinasabi mo kasi farmer, di ba? Pag sinasabi mm -hmm. mo, anong profession yung tatay mo? Mm -hmm. Farmer? Mm -hmm. We want this young generation to see, yeah. farming is sexy. Farming is a business. Mm -hmm. Now, yan, you can go to farm, you can farm a number of hectares, without even going to the field. Mm. We have all this technology. It's yeah. just low light. Wala nang maglaro ka doon sa ano, game. dito ka nalang maglaro. Mm -hmm. ba? So there are some new youths na yun, mga ano, bata talaga nagre-response. No? So kaya mm -hmm. yung mga ano, nagiging ano na sila, uy, pwede pala pa yung farming. Uh -huh. mga, you know, so, because our farmers are also aging. Yes. And then, if you want them to say, okay, baka pwede kayo sa Facebook, tingnan mo yung ano dito sa ano, yung para matulungan ka. Kasi pwede sabi, wala akong ka, hindi ko marunong yan, saan na ka na yan. This is also something that reality in the ground, so we yeah. need really to, to fill the gap. Yes, sir. Yung yes, sir. Natin. And that your help will be also important. Sir, thank you thank so you. much po sa... Thank uh, you. Sir, thank you. Uh, aside from you're the president of the Rice Board, ano po yung... I'm buyer. I'm uh, with buyer also. Ah, buyer okay. Buyer from the other side. <laughs> Uh, the rice board that gmail dot com that gmail dot com uh, small letter lang the rice board uh -huh. that gmail dot com can can also and we have also our website mm. uh, we not website our facebook we facebook page rice yes rice board rice sir board thank, you, thank you thank so you so much po ha thank you salamat din ah salamat sa time thank you sir richard sige may may ano kami may facebook kami ng buyer okay yung lahat marami but you can mm -hmm. but thank, thank you for your thank time thank you pa can we ano, schedule a, a separate shoot about your about your being, about your products? Kailan kaya sir? Um, sa Munoz, by the way. Uh -huh.
Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, I might want to would like to introduce to you to Buddy. Hi, hello. Say you sa agri na agri business. Agri -business. Hi, hi. How it works? Ma. Hello. Yeah. 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 Sa Ito kanila yung new hope. I think the pioneer for drones, right? Yes. Commercial drone sa Philippines. Mm. We are the very first distributor. We're fully licensed. The very first fully licensed. Oh. Right. Agri, yeah, agri. For agricultural drones. We're actually, we're also licensed for. Oh. Oh. Uh, mapping and surveying. Uh, nice. Reception of the farmers for the uh, precision agriculture, um, particularly the drone. It's uh, everyone's interested, mm -hmm. but will they make the investment? Uh, so, papa anong what's what, what would be the solution for that? Um, the, the the government is uh, certainly demonstrating it through mm -hmm. the various offices, right? to raise awareness and mm -hmm. knowledge mm -hmm. um, and uh, there might be vouchers you know around it but the question still is mm -hmm. you know if with all these benefits that, that you, ha you don't have pesticide contact anymore it's a lot faster like one one hectare on, on this model uh, we can spray one hectare in five minutes mm -hmm. five minutes flat with mm -hmm. all these benefits mm -hmm. will the farmer, farmer mm -hmm. pay for it mm -hmm. right? So, in other countries like Thailand and Vietnam, oh yeah, of course, not a problem, P yeah. people pay. Yeah. But here, I think the, the uptake mm -hmm. has been slow in the Philippines. Okay, so yes. ano po yung, yung uh, kinagawa ninyo para mapabilis yung pag-accept ng uh, tao? Yes. Doon sa mga technologies. Yeah, the first thing that we did was we established basic facts. Mm -hmm. So, in 2019, uh, we we did uh, research with mm -hmm. Phil Rice. Mm -hmm. So, the, that's the first ever research in the in the Philippines where we uh, established basic facts on spray, mm -hmm. basic facts on seed spreading, mm -hmm. basic facts on fertilizer broadcasting, mm -hmm. and that has you know has internalized that's been internalized by DA already, and that's why there are programs to mm -hmm. introduce agricultural drones. Mm -hmm. So, yung ginawa na. Uh, and throughout, with the help of the, the rice board, which yeah. we are members, mm -hmm. we have demonstrated, demonstrated that in at least um, three regions. Mm -hmm. So in our Bicol um, endeavor, for example, we had about almost 100 hectares. hectares. Yeah, direct seeded, right? No crop protection yet uh, by drone, but just drone seeding. The yield was between 6 and 14 metric tons per hectare. Mm -hmm. That's huge. All direct seeding. Mm -hmm. uh, because, so, traditionally, this is a community that was inbred, seeding rate with 80 to 100 kilos per, he per, he mm -hmm. uh, per hectare, mm -hmm. yields less than four. Mm -hmm. And then, in some cases, they had tripled that yield. Mm -hmm. Right? So, yes, we, we, we validated it. But, to your question, you know, how's the uptake? It's slow. Okay, yeah. so you think how, how many years more that makikita uh, natin that all the farmers are using drones? Mm, I think that uh, I take a, uh, a medium term view. Okay. okay. And this is the discussion I have with, uh, with, with, many, uh, with many people in the LGUs and certainly in government. Mm -hmm. I say take a two to three year view on wages. Farm mm -hmm. wages. Okay. Bakan na ba? Four fifty, mm -hmm. five hundred mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. right? Ngayon, di ba? Four fifty. You know, I charge around seven hundred pesos per hectare for spray. So, if you take a two to three year view with inflation on the back of inflation, two to three years will be at parity, and when we're at parity, people are agnostic, mm. right? So, I think that's one thing that that could be the inflection point. Because right now, yes, it does come at a premium, but it does give you quality. But unfortunately, mm. the cost sensitivity of it, mm. you know, takes uh, a lot of people out of the market because they just want to have low cost, less cash out, the mm. lowest possible, you know, cash out. You don't need it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but but if you're if you're uh, cost neutral, mm. right? 
drone spray is X, manual spray is also X. Mm -hmm. So which one are you going to do? You, mm -hmm. go, you choose the convenience of the two, yeah. right? And so I think so. I think the two to three years. But in the meantime, um, what we can do is really uh, for those farmers that are you know ahead of the curve, really mm -hmm. looking for an advantage, takes mm -hmm. the yield game very very seriously and is mm -hmm. willing to invest. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, for those people, our rates already good. Mm -hmm. And you can certainly justify it already. Yeah. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. No, no, no. It's thank a pleasure you, seeing you. you. I, I see you on uh, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Hi, sir. 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 Hi, Mm. Social masyado yung event. <laughs> Mostly scientist. Pero scientist, no? Kasama naman natin this time si Sir Joseph Otep from Erie. Yan, nagkaroon na tayo ng episode before at uh, maraming nagulat na may mga ganun pala no, okay. na nangyayari. And na-surprise sila na uh, may mga ganong technologies pala mm -hmm. na available. So right now, in-invite tayo ni Sir Joseph na na tignan itong uh, event. International, International Rice, Congress. Rice Congress. So, uh, eh, for me, ah, ang initial reaction ko, itong event na to ay para sa mga scientists, researcher, mm -hmm. academic probably, and yung mga policy makers probably. Uh -huh. no? uh, sila yung mag magbababa doon sa mga uh -huh. farmers. Mm -hmm. Tama ba yung impression ko doon sa um, event? Yes, sir. Pero with, with uh, yung installation natin dito sa Pilipinas, mm -hmm. we make sure na almost lahat ng players, na, I mean sa value chain ng rice, nandito. Nandito so, sila. May mga yeah. farmers din dito. May mga, may mga estudyante. Mm -hmm. So napumunta rin. And then, lalo na dito sa trade show. Mm -hmm. So para makita rin nila na kung ano yung mga result ng research. Mm -hmm. So may access sila dito sa trade show and then sa yeah. exhibit. Sa, sa mga poster area. Mm -hmm. At maraming mga ano, no? parang mga from foreigners no na yes, po, all around dating na dito I think as far as I remember ang nasa list na nag-register so far last night is almost 64 countries wow we have uh, 1000 maybe ngayon 1900 or maybe 2000 plus na na participants mm -hmm. nakita ko yung ano no list ng ng mga lectures no mm -hmm. Um, yeah, hindi na ako umano doon kasi malalim masyado. <laughs> I think yung mga ganun eh pang kailangan talaga ano, may may oras na yun lang yung purpose mo gawin para talagang ma maintindihan. But uh, yeah. I'm glad na nakapunta kayo sa yes, sir. Uh -oh. may broadcast na din yung ating event. Mm -hmm. uh, lilinawin lang po natin, no? ang IRI ay it's not a uh, government entity mm. kasi maraming na nagkakamali. Even yung mga nauna episodes natin, parang may mga may mga concerns sila doon sa government natin inaano na <laughs> sa binabato nila doon sa IRI hindi po uh, walang kinalaman ng IRI doon kasi ang IRI is international organization na nagkataon lang na naka-base sa Philippines uh, ang headquarters natin ang headquarters ay nasa Philippines but hindi siya Philippine government yes yes, yes. Yeah. But we are helping the Philippines. The Philippine we are government. Here, yes. First and foremost. Uh -huh. I'm Leo Le po from Leo. Ostrom. Leo Diaz. Okay. Sir Leo Diaz from Ostrom Climate. Ostrom Climate. Okay. Sir, kakaiba to. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Uh, actually, si Ostrom Climate is a strong private firm na Canada based. Okay. You know? But recently, I na establish niya yung kanyang Nueva Ecija office nitong January lang. Mm -hmm. So, na kung saan ay pinapromote pa namin yung AWD technology sa mga farmers ano through ibig farmer sabihin, field schools. So, yung AWD actually is a water saving technique sa water management. Ano? So, sinasabi po dito na um, pwede naman nating patuyuan yung ating tubig sa certain levels. So, okay. meron pa tayong tinatawag na safe AWD na kung saan um, 
uh, dinadry po natin yung tubig. So, ibig sabihin, hindi naman kailangan na yung ating mga palay ay laging lubog po sa tubig. So, um, unang benefit po nito is nakakapag-save po tayo ng water at the same okay. time ay nakakapag-reduce tayo ng emissions ng mga greenhouse gases, particular na po yung methane at N2O. So, mm. yung mga methane at N2O kasi, so sila po yung mga pangunahing greenhouse gases na nagpapainit sa ating mundo. Ano. So, um, by adopting AWD, yun nga mm. po ay nakakapag-reduce po tayo ng greenhouse gases emissions. So, um, meron din po kaming research sa Ostrom na kung saan ay nagkakandak po kami ng measurement ng greenhouse gases dun sa aming mga project sites to quantify yung reduction ng emissions ng mga greenhouse gases. And yung reductions po na yun ay pinuput up naman po namin sa, mga, sa carbon market ano, to um, incentivize yung mga farmers na mm. mag adopt ng technology. Mm-hmm. So, ang kagandahan po nito ay nakatulong na nga po tayo sa environment na, uh, nakapagbigay pa po, po tayo ng additional income sa mga farmers. Okay, like for example, anong in, in, paano? Um, like through carbon very specific finance, na... actually. Wala pa siyang amount right okay. ngayon, pero um, ang sure ay may incentivize natin yung mga farmers okay. while Let's say for example, ano yung gagawin niya para ma-incentivize um, siya? Una, of course, kailangan muna nilang mag-enroll dun sa aming farmer field schools na ino-offer naman namin for free. Okay. So, ngayon ay nakikipag-partner uh, kami sa NIA, PhilRise, and sa mga Irrigators Association. Since yung ating mga Irrigators as- Association, sila ay organized group yeah, of farmers yeah. na. So, mas madali silang ma-reach through that. Okay. So, for free, ay uh, may tuturo po namin sa kanila yung kung paano gamitin yung technology. Okay. So, from there, ay kailangan nilang i-practice yung, yung AWD. Mm-hmm. Ganun lang po siya kasi simple. Grabe, no? So, sa aming mga project sites, so, mm. et, uh, yung AWD kasi ay um, gumagamit kami ng simple tool na ito po yung tinatawag nating observation well. Na okay. saan para ma-monitor natin yung, yung level ng tubig, tubig. sa ating palay. So, ito po ay ibinabaon sa ating mga lupa. Mm. At... Um, Hinuho kayo, of course, ito. Tapos makikita po natin sa root zone o sa ilalim ng lupa na meron pa palang tubig. Kasi yung ating mga farmers minsan, kapag nakita na nilang uh, wala ng tubig dun sa ating sa palay. Sa ibabaw, ay, akala nila wala akala na. Akala wala na kayo magpapatubig po. Magpapatubig na po sila. Hindi po nila alam na meron pa palang tubig sa ilalim. Sa ilalim dun sa ating root zone. So, ibig sabihin, hindi naman ito makaka-apekto. Yung paggamit ng AWD, hindi siya makakapag-reduce sa ating yield. Oh, nice. Sa ngayon oh. po ay nasa um, mm. um, Nueva Ecija po kami na kung saan ay 20,000 yung kinikater po natin na 20,000 hectares. Yung, saan kayo sa Nueva Ecija? Munoz? Um, ang pilot sites pa namin ay Munoz. Munoz. And Gimba. And Gimba. Okay. Pwede mo nating dalawin yung mga sites oh, sure ninyo? Po. Sure po. Oh, all right, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you po. <laughs> so, sir, hindi kami ng contact details ah, sure. para ano makapag network sure tayo. Ang ganda to ha. Ito, sir. Thank you. Hindi parang hindi naman kay NGO or something. Ah, uh, it's actually a private firm. So. So paano nag-generate yung company kung um, libre lang yung binibigay? through carbon finance. So, meron kasi tayong tinatawag na carbon trading oh, na kung saan, oh. dun sa ating Paris Agreement, yung ating mga companies na nag emit ng mga greenhouse gases, kailangan po talaga nilang mag-reduce ng kanilang emissions. But since yun yung kanilang primary source of income, oh. hindi nila kayang mag-reduce ng kanilang reduction. So, mm. ang ginagawa nila, bumibili ngayon sila ng ng carbon, sa carbon market ng mga bansa na kayang mag-reduce ng kanilang emissions. Doon po, um, yung reductions na ma- ma- ma-quantify o makukuha natin while using the technology, pinuput up po natin siya sa carbon market na kung saan uh, binibili naman po ng mga malalaking bansa. Oh, nice. Sige, sir. Uh, kay- sir Leo, kailan yung best na dadalawin um, namin kayo? Ang maganda siguro mga i-showcase din yung mga field schools namin kung paano oh, sila nagtuturo sa sige, mga Sige, pwede rin, pwede rin. Ang magandang mga i-showcase pa siguro ninyo kung paano sila nagtitrain ng farmers. Okay. Sige, kailan kaya yun? January? January na rin. 
mag-upload ako ulit ng next na uh, patuloy, December. Ah, uh, December. So, mag-starting na po na mag-upload. Mm-hmm. Sige. Sa ngayon, ilang farmers na tayo yung na-reach natin? We have 13 uh, farmer groups ngayon. So, mm-hmm. that's for the Division 5 ng UPRIS. So, mayong six divisions ang fair ang ang UPRIS. So, tar- of course, target namin sila na makater po lahat. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you po. <laughs> Available na po ang Agribusiness Merch sa Shopee. Ang link na sa description box. Agribusiness How It Works. Instruct, Inspire, Succeed.